is Tim Albright with AV Nation at Infocom 2017 with Rodolfo from Ad Mobilize. How yeah, are you, sir? I'm great. How are you? I am good. That's I'm great. good. Awesome. So here's here's the thing. Um, I AV Nation gets a lot of press releases and stuff like that, and, yep. and, and I, I get yours, and, and I'm reading through this, and I'm like, I think I know what it is that you do. Sure. I'm not the smartest guy in the world, so <laughs> I'm right. reading through it a couple different times. <laughs> yep. So give me your your elevator pitch. What what is it that, that Ad Mobilize you know actually does? Sure. So you know if you want to just simplify it, it's a platform running very complex computer vision, machine learning algorithms, okay. which allows us to quantify the physical world. So I'll give you an example. Mm -hmm. Think of a, a digital camera, right? I actually a digital digital screen. So. Okay. There's about uh, 30, I think the last number was 37 million connected digital screens in the world. Those, some, some of those are in corporations providing kind of corporate communications. Yeah. A lot of those are powering the $35 billion advertising uh, out of home space. Now, if you ask those advertisers that are spending all that money, who is actually in front of your screen? What was their average age? What was their emotion as they were watching that eight second uh, ad rotate? Yeah. None of that information is quantified. That's where we come in. So all of our technology has everything from emotion analysis, facial kind of detection, facial recognition, crowd analytics, vehicle detection, vehicle recognition, all within one platform. And my big thing with our team of 40, and we're headquartered in Miami, which is great, is how do we provide this technology in a way that is really plug and play? So you can simply use our hardware, or if you already have your hardware, we'll provide you simple code. Within 15 milliseconds, you're capturing all this data in real time, uh, showing in a dashboard that looks like, like Google Analytics, but it's for the physical world, right? Okay, so let, let's drill down into this a bit. Yep. Uh, I've already said I'm not the smartest guy in the world. How are you doing emotion analytics? Right, so it's pretty insane, and I'm not gonna go that technical. Yeah. But the idea is this, right? So we have created our own neural network, which allows us to train millions of images. And let's say for emotion specifically, our face has about 80 nodal points. Okay. And what we have done is you train these 80 nodal points across millions of images, ranging all types of age, gender, um, happiness, uh, neutral, um, uh, let's say anger, there's about seven emotions, right? Okay. So the way the technology works is the moment that that camera catches your face, it's running about 10 to 15 frames per second, that data goes back to our cloud, some of it is processed at the edge, and then we can provide with that instant detection with about 95 to 99 percent accuracy what your emotion was at that moment. And then what does an advertiser do with, with that information? So there's a few things, right? So I like to break it down in, in three buckets. One is capture. So we're capturing all this data. It's like per perishable inventory in airlines, right? If you don't sell the seed, you lose the seed forever. Our idea is this, you have this touchless data that is lost forever. You put our technology there, now you have that data. So it's the concept of capture. Allows you to understand everything that is in your surrounding very easily. Second is the concept of dynamic serving of information or ads. So I'll give you an example. Let's say that you have our vehicle technology on a large format billboard, right? Okay. And our technology also counts the speed of cars, measures the speed of cars. So let's say that you're on a road where you have the billboard and it's, you know, the average speed is 50 miles per hour, right? But now our technology can identify that perhaps because of whatever the cars are going five miles per hour, the CMS running, the content management system running the board can serve a premium ad because now your cars are running at 10x more attention time because of the speed yep. on that board. The advertiser can charge a premium. They can get data. That's kind of the dynamic kind of bucket. Interesting. And then third is my concept of interactivity, right? So let's say we have clients. I mean, our clients are amazing, ranging from uh, Home Depot, Visa, um, Adams Outdoor, uh, JC Deco. So it's, it's pretty intense yeah. um, and it's amazing because what they have found is back in the day, the concept of this technology scared a lot of people. But if you look today... It still does just for the record. Right. But I think it's before it used to scare them, 
because they thought it, it was just a one-off a kind of uh, application. What we have done is we have democratized computer vision across the entire industry in a way that is very easy to install, uh, very inexpensive, and then the data is just, you're, you're, you're getting data, right? That's the power of that. Okay, so all of yep. this, right? Yep. This, this, is, this is what you guys do. Yep. Why are you at Infocom? Sure, so we traditionally have gone to Digital Signage Expo yep. uh, and some of, of those other more, let's say, out of home digital signage uh, retail companies. But what we have been finding as of, I would say, the last nine months is that the industry, and, and pretty much I'm calling that the tipping point of the industry is about to happen or happening, at least for digital signage. But what we're having is all these system integrators coming to us saying, wow, can I kind of drop in your tech into our kind of offerings to clients? Mm -hmm. Now they, they got an additional very disruptive technology where they can get a recurring revenue on their businesses. Awesome. And the data, right? Yeah. So when you think of it, it's almost, it's a plug and play, minimal, minimal requirements. It's basically software and you can make maybe 15 to 20% more revenues just by integrating our technology, right? So That's you, powerful. So you sell it through, through a, uh, a dealer? Yeah, so a dealer can package this technology. If they want, they can white label th their own, kind of their own system integrator company, or they can white label the client's logo. So, so my big thing is this, right? Think of back in the day where you had print media. All they knew was circulation. Mm -hmm. This magazine is hitting maybe this, this, um, these neighborhoods and this total circulation is 300,000. Then of course the internet came about, analytics came about, and they could be very granular. So what our technology is allowing is any physical environment, be it corporate, be it restaurants, be it stadiums, be it hospitals, now you can quantify this information very easily. And the big difference is here is this is not mobile data. Mobile data, when you're trying to track it, you're only getting a portion of the data. In most cases, you don't own the data. You have to buy, you have, yeah. to, you have to pay for that service. And the mobile data will never tell you if a, what's the human being's emotion or attention looking at that place. Mobile data can put you around the proximity, but nothing will ever justify unless you know, the system is plugged in directly into your cortex, but don't, that's, don't we're talking, yes. <laughs> that's gonna take forever, right? Yes. So that's the power of this tech, and that's why we're here, is all of these companies that I'm looking around, and I came early just to walk around, is if you have a digital screen, if you have a camera, if you're service, servicing a physical location, it would be insane for you not to have computer vision analytics running today. And the companies that embrace it have the opportunity to grow their revenues very fast and get into this tipping point. The ones that don't, I can guarantee that if we sit here again, maybe five years from now, there's gonna be a few of these companies here, in my opinion, probably about to die or, the, or, or toes up. Already gone. Yeah, because they missed this entire kind of wave of machine learning that that it's starting to hit this industry, and that's why we're here. Right. That's a long answer. Of why no, we're it, here. it's a and I love it. The crowd is, is excited. Our booth is packed. Good. Uh, so yes, yeah, so it's great. All right. So if, if somebody's not here at Adobe, yep. come. How do they get a hold of you? The easiest thing is just go to admobilize.com. They can check check us out there. We have great customer service. Uh, what can I tell you? You know, there's hundreds of YouTube videos. We have a pretty strong kind of Twitter account, Facebook account, LinkedIn account. Uh, and my big thing is, is service, right? Because yeah. back in the day, when you were thinking about just hardware, and more even a kind of a do-it-yourself hardware and software, service was very lousy. So think of the Zappos model, right? When you were selling shoes and you were buying shoes, uh, even today, Zappos has 10 times better customer service for shoes than Amazon does. Yeah. And that distinguishes it, right? So our big thing is great service and giving you the tools to succeed. All right, yeah. Rodolfo, I appreciate it, sir. Thank you so much. For sure, ha thank ha you. Ha have a good show. Yeah. And if you want to find out more about us, you can go to avnation.tv. Awesome, thank you very much.